hello everybody um so as you probably could tell we have not been vlogging every day um even though that was the plan there are a lot of things that have been going on kind of behind the scenes that were not planned um and everything basically has changed like everything um and oh, i i don't know if i should just like put it all in this video or it's be hard to explain but um, this is like the first day, I'll be honest and very transparent, that like I actually got ready and the only reason I did was because I had a sponsored post I needed to do and so I, and it was like in a contract so I had to like get it done. But I um, have been having a hard time getting out of bed lately. Uh, I've been having my own mental health issues. I've been dealing with, um, I had stopped a medication that I was on and um, I'm working with doctors. It's not like I'm doing this alone, but, uh, so yeah, just like I'm having to switch some medications for my, for my mental health. Um, and I have been like really open about, you know, a lot of my mental health issues. Um, unfortunately, uh, as some of you guys may have heard, they have passed down to my daughter. Um, and I was not expecting that at all. Um, especially at like such a young age she's only like four she's just barely turned four um so it's just been a lot that we've been dealing with and again uh tried to deal with it privately but it's just been really difficult um to do that um with just our jobs so and also i think um another reason why i wanted to share or that i plan to share in the future um, once she's, you know, a little bit better, um, is because, man, have I felt alone in this whole situation, and I have, like, searched high and low on the internet, um, just, like, praying that, like, someone else has shared a similar journey, and I have yet to find somebody, um, if any of you guys know anyone that's publicly talked about their struggles, um, with their children, please send them my way because, um, or their videos so that I can maybe get some insight on how to help her, um, as a parent and also just, um, to not feel so alone. Again, we're working with professionals and multiple doctors right now to get her the care and treatment that she needs um, medically, but also just like as a parent, I want to do everything I can. And I've been like listening to audiobooks and like all kinds of things um, to, you know, help parent her because it's uh, very different from parenting. I think a regular child that doesn't like struggle with any type of like neurodivergent neurodivergent I think that's the proper word this is also new to me um so yeah anyway I had a lot of struggles growing up but not I don't ever remember being as young as like dealing with those problems as young as snow um mine didn't like hit till I was you know um I think like junior high or something you know when you like hit puberty or something or it could just be like the trauma of like my stepmom I don't know who knows um but a big thing and I've been seeing a lot of this because I haven't openly or publicly shared her diagnoses um there's multiple of them and they are really severe uh and I plan to eventually <laughs> I'm just not ready right now um we did share some a little bit more on patreon and a lot of people you know get upset about that and um i guess they just maybe don't understand where i'm coming from and that's okay um for me patreon is a safe place there's less than a thousand people there and everybody is very loving and supporting um and like supportive there and so i feel more comfortable sharing there and there's also other people there that are very helpful and um unfortunately on youtube because there's more people um it's not everybody always has the best intentions um and can be very like hurtful and not helpful so that's why i share a little bit more on patreon if that makes sense um and yeah anyway um a lot of people without kind of knowing like 
what's going on with her. They were saying like, oh, it'd be good for her to be in school. Um, you know, maybe traveling is not good for her. She needs some like structure and routine and like, you know, a lot of unsolicited <laughs> advice, but good advice um, and stuff that I needed to hear. Um, and also I agree with. So um, with that in mind, <laughs> Uh, we are no longer going to be traveling in the RV. Um, we are going back to LA to be closer to our family. We're going to move back into our house. Um, and I think, uh, we are going to work on getting her in some sort of a, um, daycare program school. We're going to have her meet with therapists weekly. We're going to get her into dance classes, art classes. I mean, like, whatever it takes to help her, um, we're going to do that because, uh, you guys don't see it, but it is really bad. I sometimes go to bed crying and wake up crying. Um, and you know, it's just, it's been really hard. Um, and I think any parent that's maybe struggled with something similar would um, understand kind of a little bit what I'm going through, but I can't even vlog. So that's like another reason why I haven't been doing Vlogmas is because um, it's gotten worse, her um, like symptoms. And uh, I think one of the reasons is because like we're in the motor home and it makes it really difficult. Um, a lot of things, you know, I think if, uh, she didn't have this going on, I think like, you know, it'd be really fun for her, um, and exciting, but, and it was at first, but now it's not. And so now I'm, I just told Travis, like, we need to go home. Like we can't cause nobody's happy. It's like become miserable and it's not fun. And, um, it's taking a toll on everybody. Uh, and so we really, really need to just have structure and you know a, like a house <laughs> um and for her to you know have her own room and wake up in her bed and have a routine that she sticks to every day and when she goes outside she's you know in the same neighborhood um because that's what she needs to thrive um at least that's what i think is going to help her so i'm we need to do that uh, so we are working on that. We are, um, <laughs> we haven't been able to get very much done, um, like work-wise in the house because, um, again, this is like not, uh, I don't know how to explain it without like going into like what goes on, um, with her, but it's very, very difficult. Um, and she cannot be left alone. I mean, there's like a lot of, a lot of things. And again, like I, I, I really want to talk about it and be open about it. Um, because I think it will be really helpful for maybe somebody else that's also going through it. Um, but also to just bring awareness to like what she has going on, because I feel like, um, if I saw somebody else's kid acting the way snow was, um, I wouldn't know why they were acting that way. And I would just think like, oh my God, like what a spoiled brat, like, you know, and I don't want people to see her like that because she's not a spoiled brat. She's suffering with some serious stuff going in inside of her brain that she can't control. Um, and it's, it's really sad actually, uh, what's going on with her. And it's really hard as a parent to feel so helpless. Um, <sighs> I have my own like therapy sessions I'm having to have, um, you know, uh, more than anything in the world, I wanted to have children and my dream finally came true after so many years. And I started just like being so grateful and able to enjoy that. And, and now, um, it's just like a new journey that we're on that we're, um, trying to figure out. And I'm just trying to do the best I can as a mom to support her and, 
um, I know that, uh, like, God is going to help us with all of this, and everything's going to be okay, and she's going to be okay. I just feel really bad for her, and I just want her to be happy. So, yeah, lots of changes <laughs> um, going on. I honestly, like, I don't even think we're going to be... Um, able to do vlogmas anymore I mean I'll still post but I just don't I don't want to tell everybody that I'm going to be posting every day because I just don't know what each day is has in store for us <laughs> um <laughs> yeah so anyway uh we have some more the doctors uh, meetings and stuff to kind of go over everything with her but unfortunately we rented out our house and our house um, the tenants that are in it now their lease is not up until the end of April and so um, we're going to go back to LA and establish you know um, a routine with her there um, for the next few months until we're able to get back into our house so that's kind of what's going on right now. We obviously need to finish the remodel here at this house. And then, um, I think like, you know, we're really only going to be able to be here for like another week. And then we're going to start heading back to LA. Um, because at first it was like each day, like it's getting really hard. We really like need to get home. And then like, it would be like each hour and now it's like each minute. And I'm just like, we gotta get back home. Like I'm, I'm ready to just book a flight because, um, we need help. We need a lot of help right now. Um, and having our family around to help us would be very, very helpful. Um, so yeah getting in her, getting her into some sort of like daycare or program. Um, the problem with that is she has regressed and is going to the bathroom in her pants. And so now she's back in diapers. Um, and most daycares and schools for her age, um, have to be potty trained. So that is, uh, kind of difficult because, um, I don't think she would be allowed in most schools and also because of all of her issues she has going on um I don't think that they would allow her to be in school and around other kids and so we are going to need to get her like specialized we need to find her like a special program to be in for um teachers and doctors that understand what's going on with her and know how to treat her properly um and you know, can help her. So it's just, it's a lot. Um, and I kind of just wanted to make this video to kind of give you guys an update on what's going on and what to expect here on this channel. Um, I'm still going to be posting. Um, I have a lot of things I want to post. I want to do like bake clean DIY videos and Christmassy, like cozy Christmas videos and all kinds of fun stuff. And I promise you, I'm going to give that to you. I just right now need to be giving my time and attention to snow until we're able to get her to a place where she's safe and um you know like thriving uh and right now that's not happening so um yeah just wanted to kind of throw that out there um patreon still you guys will still have your two videos a week um I filmed those in advance, so those will still be there. And um yeah, if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Um and if you guys have any video requests, feel free to leave them down below. Um, Travis uh, took the kids to go play at the park, so I was able to have a little bit of time for myself to get some work stuff done. Um, and I just wanted to update you guys and kind of let you know we're tr we are hiring out to finish the remodel because we're not able to do it ourselves now. Excuse me. Um, we are planning very soon to head back to LA and not travel anymore in the motorhome so that we can give Snow kind of a stable routine in the same place and hopes that will help her and also to have like doctors and therapists and therapy and all kinds of stuff. Um, it's almost like a full-time job in itself um, taking care of her right now. So, and we have Storm 
who, um, you know, thankfully Travis is able to stay home with me and help with Storm. So it's kind of a little um, update of everything that's going on right now. Uh, thank you guys for being loving and supportive. I appreciate it. And um, yeah, we just love you. And if you are out there and you're going through something difficult right now, please know that you're not alone. Um, just because people don't post about it online um, and they're posting like, you know, their highlight reel doesn't mean that those people aren't going through hard times. So just know you're not alone because I know how it could feel. <laughs> um, another reason why I just like making these videos because we don't just post the good stuff here. We post the good, the bad, and the ugly because um, that's just that's real life. That's what I want to see, so that's what I post. Um, not everybody agrees with that, and that's okay. Uh, thankfully, it's a free country, <laughs> uh, and we can post what we want to post, right? So anyway, thanks for being here. I'm sending you guys all my love and all my positive energy, and I hope to see you in my next video. Mwah.